I'm delighted to welcome you all to this special celebration of the Duke Law Class of 2020. Today we honor a remarkable group of students and we do so in a remarkable way. The more than 300 members of the Class of 2020 began their Duke Law education on our campus in Durham, North Carolina. For some, that was nearly three years ago, and for still others, it was just last August, which seems to me like yesterday. They have now completed the requirements for graduation, and today, thanks to the wonder of technology, they are joining us from all over the United States and all over the globe so that we can mark this important moment in their personal and professional lives. I want to extend a very special welcome to the parents, grandparents, spouses, siblings, other family members, and friends of the graduating students. Your love and support have helped them reach this milestone, and today we honor you as well as them. In a normal year, I would have had the delight of getting to meet you in person, taking some pictures, shaking hands, hugging, showing our appreciation for all that you have contributed to these students' lives. But it's wonderful to see so many of you joining over Zoom today. I also want to recognize the Duke Law faculty and staff who are with us today. They are teachers, scholars, mentors, counselors, and supporters. Without them and their commitment to excellence in their jobs, we could not fulfill the law school's mission of preparing students for responsible and productive lives in the legal profession. Many of them are also with us for this celebration. In fact, they wouldn't miss it for the world. The class we honor today is the latest class to exemplify a long tradition of excellence in legal education here at Duke. The roots of the law school reach all the way back to the 1850s, when Trinity College, the precursor to Duke University, offered law-themed lectures. In 1924, in a document setting forth his endowment of the university that would be named for him, James Buchanan Duke advised that priority be given to the training of four professions, preachers, teachers, physicians, and lawyers. Nearly a century later, the law school remains a vital and integral member of this great institution, home to research and scholarship addressing some of the most difficult and complex issues the world faces today. Our faculty are exceptional teachers and mentors, and Duke Law graduates are recognized around the world as having been exceptionally well-trained in law. The class of 2020 will be no exception. Our graduating students have completed the requirements for either the Juris Doctor, or JD, or the Masters of Laws, known as the LLM, or both. 206 students have completed the requirements for the JD, spending at least three years in law school and completing work that is demanding and difficult. 90 students who completed the requirements for an LLM are graduates of law schools in other countries who came to Duke to learn about the American legal system and pursue advanced legal studies in their areas of interest. 24 of our JD students also completed the requirements for an LLM in international and comparative law, including additional coursework and a summer of study at our Summer Institute in, transactional, in Transnational Law at The Hague. Nine LLM students have completed our program in law and entrepreneurship, including seven who are also earning their JD degrees. They have completed specialized coursework in business and finance topics. Finally, 20 LLM students have completed our program in judicial studies. They are all sitting state, federal, and international judges who have chosen to further their education through rigorous coursework and the writing of an original thesis. To all of these students, soon to be graduates, let me be the first to congratulate you. You have much reason to be proud. Here are just a few of the things that you've accomplished. You took challenging courses, 
from some of the greatest law teachers in the world, and you won their respect and admiration. You represented clients, briefed and argued cases, participated in national and international competitions that tested your legal skills and knowledge. You did research and published scholarship, helping to advance understanding of law and policy in important areas. You convened conferences and discussions featuring legal scholars, Supreme Court justices, political leaders, and civil rights heroes. You volunteered your time and energy to serve the public and strengthen the community and used your legal skills to help others. And most importantly, you have formed bonds with your classmates and professors that will support and uplift you as you enter this next phase of your lives. You have also faced in the last several months a crisis like none of us has ever experienced in our lifetimes. The tragic consequences of COVID-19 have affected many of you personally. The pandemic has shaken the global economy and disrupted lives and livelihoods. It created extraordinary challenges to the completion of your education and the launching or resumption of your careers. But I have seen firsthand the resilience of the class of 2020. You have already overcome so much here today. I know that you are prepared to handle anything that comes at you, anything the future throws at you. The challenges we face are going to demand confidence, compassion, and creativity to solve. In short, they will require leadership, your leadership. I am confident in your ability to be the leaders that the world needs right now, in your profession and in your communities.